everyone welcome welcome back to my channel as you probably figured out from the title of this video we're going to be going over my market best seller i have over 50 things that i consistently bring to markets with me and that consistently sell where possible i have the physical versions of them but for some of them i will be putting up photos and i'll also put in this area a picture of the actual pattern our first pattern is a bit of a bigger one it is for a big penguin by at me hein if you look at it it's adorable i've made it a ton and i brought it to a ton on a similar note we have the bear with overalls by loretta loops i just think it's so adorable and anything with clothes is automatically 10 times cuter and again it's kind of like the perfect just like cuddly little size it's perfect on a similar note to teddy bears we have my own bear the only one I have is holding a heart. That's not part of my tutorial. So if you disregard this, but it's a little teddy bear. I personally think he's the perfect size. There will be some self promo in this video. I'm so sorry, but I, I have to do it. I have no choice. The next up we have the ducks with the butt. This is one that I make all the time, as you can see here. And they got a little trunk on them, hence the name duck with a butt. So they are by Zuzu Crochet. I have somewhat adapted it to better fit my needs, but that's the base pattern and it will get you a product that looks like this. Next up by Natalie's Crochet Creations. You, I'm sure you've seen me talk about this pattern on here before. It's for that alligator or crocodile. I genuinely don't know the difference, but it's just so adorable and it's nice and small. So it's at a low price point, which tends to be the best seller things for me is anything like $15 and below, but I just think that's a super adorable one and it's no sewing, so it's super easy and super fast. Then we have my personal favorite axolotl pattern. That's the one I usually tend to make. It's by Loretta Loops. It looks like this. This is the one I've personally brought to markets and I've found to be a bestseller, but from what I've seen on the internet, a lot of people use a pattern by Dolls and Stuffies where it's the head and it goes lengthways. And honestly, axolotls are super popular. I think both are adorable options and whichever one suits your needs better go for it. Next by nooks underscore hooks, we have a little stegosaurus. Adorable, right? So cute. Everyone loves a good dinosaur. So I figured this one's perfect. Again, with the self promo, I have two dinosaur patterns of my own. I don't have any on me because they all sold. I have the big brontosaurus, which is like my most viral pattern or whatever you want to call it. And I really love that one. And I think it's pretty easy. And then I also have my little T-Rex one, which I think is adorable. Anyways, self-promo over. Next, we have the hens. I've sold a bunch of these. The pattern includes, you make like a hole in the bottom to put a baby in, which if that's your thing, knock yourself out. I just basically ignore the part that says like inner tube and I just make the outer part and call it a day. Then again, by nooks underscore hooks, we have mini elephants. Again, sold them all, but you see them, they're no so, I think, but they're super adorable. And who doesn't love a little tiny elephant? Like it's adorable. Then by all from Jade, the first of many of her entries into this video, we have the mini whales, which I have made a bunch of. I've only just taken out two cause I'm not digging that far in the stash. They look like this. They're just like a perfect little size and I love them so much. And again, lower price point, super popular. Next, I found this one on mania underscore patterns, but I know that's one of those big pages with a bunch of free ones, but it's for a little mallard that looks like this. So cute. Ignore that I used a nose, noses for eyes because I ran out, but I just think it's adorable and the colors are so easily recognizable that this is kind of perfect. Next, we have the puppy loaf by Lala Cloud Studio. This is the only dog pattern I have ever made that actually resembles a dog. I think this one's adorable. And again, super easy, super fast, low price point, not huge, 10 out of 10 from me. Next, I'm sure you have seen this one across the internet. It's like the most popular of popular patterns. It's the little mushroom boy. His hat is curling a little, but we have, okay. He's just gonna look like he has a sombrero on. It's by Chonky Crochet. I've also made a couple where instead of just doing like the basic lines on them, I did little hearts. So going like, in little V shapes essentially. And they were adorable. And those I found were an even better seller because people love the little hearts on them. Next we have Gertie the Gecko, adorable, gorgeous, perfect, amazing, 10 out of 10, so easy, kind of similar to the alligator, but in my opinion, it's just as cute, but people will 100% think this is also an alligator, just fair warning. Next up, another favorite by Chloe's plushies. It's for the little otter. Just look at him. He's so cute and he's so tiny and he's so fast and everyone always comments on how cute they are and 
I don't disagree because I think it's adorable. Next up by JNK or junk underscore crochet, we have little tiny guinea pigs. They have tags on them, but you can kind of get an idea of what they look like. Adorable. I love them. 10 out of 10. Next, we have a squid. This is by plushy co underscore patterns. Picture here. Adorable. I think that's all I have to say. Um, my personal favorite like octopus squiddy tentacled thing pattern I use is Rose and Lily Amigurumi on YouTube. I think hers is adorable and it's a lot quicker than some of the other ones I found, but both are adorable and they fit different needs. So whichever one you prefer. Speaking of tentacle things, I have my little octopus. I don't know if it's really technically an octopus because it's kind of like a blob with like a little whatever you would call that. But I think it's really cute and it's super fast and it's small. So I've always had great success selling those. Next by Cookie Crochet, we have the duck on the swing. Adorable, gorgeous. If you watch the other video of me testing patterns, you would see me make this. Next by Katie's Cute Crochet, we have Carlton the Crab. Again, adorable, perfect, gorgeous, love him. I live in close proximity to the ocean, so sea creatures tend to be a big thing if you haven't gotten that theme yet already. We have the No So Pig by ironically named Pig Splashies. I think this is so adorable. I love making little no so things, but a little pig, you can't go wrong. It's gorgeous, it's adorable. Next, another entry by All From Jade, we have the mini shark. This is essentially her little whale pattern that I showed you here, but with a top fin on it, which honestly, kind of good to add some variety in there, give people some options. So I would say that's a super easy thing to just add on to the whale pattern if you're already making those anyway. Then we have the mini penguin. So the very first one I showed you was that big, huge one. I only make maybe one or two. I make a lot more of the little mini ones by In The Crochet Cupboard. I think they're adorable. They're so easy. You do have to color change a little, but nothing, nothing crazy. And I think for the end product, it is 100% worth it. Then we have my pencil. I cannot stress enough how well this sells for some reason. Everybody and their mother knows someone who is a teacher, their cousin's a teacher, their sister's a teacher, their mom's a teacher, their wife, their husband, somebody in someone's life is always a teacher and a pencil is kind of the perfect thing for that. So I would definitely recommend this. Next, another one by All From Jade because as you can see, she makes a lot of mini things, which is kind of what I'm aiming for. The little fish, if I can find them. I have this one here, very gorgeous, very cute. We also have this little blue one, very cutesy, very mindful, very demure. If you know, you know. And then also I have a little orange one that looks like Nemo, which I think is extra cute because everyone always recognizes it and says, oh my God, is that Nemo? By my underscore universe 64, we have a little rubber duck, kind of similar to the other duck patterns, but a different shape, different method, if you like it more, there you go. By Crochet Grove, we have the little snail, adorable, very gorgeous to me. I've made a couple other ones too, but this is my personal favorite one. I love how the multicolored yarn kind of makes like the spiral shape on the shell. I think it's so perfect. So I would definitely recommend that one. Also by Crochet Grove, we have the seahorse. I will say this pattern did take a couple months off my life because it was a bit of a pain to make, but for the end product, it was 100% worth it. It's the trade-off for your sanity versus a really cute crochet project. Rose and Lily Amigurumi, her stingray is probably my all-time favorite one. It is the one I make the most, but it is definitely on the bigger side. While we're here, also by Rose and Lily Amigurumi that I make all the time is her big whale. It always sells really well and they're really, really cute. And also by Rose and Lily, I have her bunny pattern. I make probably 10 of these every market season and they all sell. And keep in mind, I only do about three markets in a summer season. By Visantica underscore plushies, we have Winnie the Pooh. This was a recent creation and as soon as I brought it out, everyone immediately knew who it was and immediately wanted it. So if that's what you're going for, Winnie the Pooh is the way to go. By Vanilla Gurumi, we have little seals. Again, kind of in the same vein of a lot of the other things, but I just like having a big variety of animals because I think it really just mixes up your table and gets people really looking through everything. We have my cat pattern, which I'm sure you've seen. It's the most recent video I posted. It's for this little guy. I think they're so cute. They're like a loaf cat. They always sell really well. And I make them in all different colors to resemble all different kinds of cats, which I think is just kind of a fun little added twist in there. This one is a recent make by Natty's Stitches. It's a little rainbow. I put little arms on it too, because I thought it was really cute. If you look at the pattern, it doesn't actually have eyes attached to it. I just threw them in there myself and it was super easy to do. So I would definitely recommend that. On a similar vein, this is a pattern that i am just made myself for fun. It's supposed to be a sun. I don't know if you can tell, but I ran out of yarn right here. So it's a little short 
but I think it's really cute. And if you want a pattern for this, let me know. Next, a best seller for sure is by the Friendly Red Fox on her blog. All the other ones before this were Instagram accounts. This one is elsewhere. It is a little turtle. I don't know if you can see, adorable, no sewing, perfect, gorgeous. I usually make a couple green ones, couple blue ones, maybe a purple, maybe a pink, throw them in there. By Spinning Yarn Crochet, we have a starfish. I also made this while I was sitting in a market and I think it's adorable. Next, the iconic leggy frog. I'm sure everyone and their mother has seen this one again. It's kind of one of those just like transcends the crochet market universe, but it always sells well. Everyone loves a little frog. In a similar note, little bees are always a bestseller. I have my own pattern for bees, but there's a million out there. Find whichever one you think works for you, and I guarantee you, they always sell. By Spinning Yarn Crochet, same as the starfish, we have a little lobster. They made theirs blue. I personally made mine red. A red lobster, adorable. By Amorfu on Pinterest, we have the peanut cat. Just look at it. I think it's adorable. Again, it's a bit of a bigger one, but I think it's so, so, so cute. And I've even made it without arms and legs a couple times, and I called it Bowling Pin Cat, and even then, it was still super popular, so it works with or without arms and legs. Next, we have my fried egg pattern. Again, sorry, I've made a lot of tutorials, so I have to get the self-promo in. They're adorable. Everyone always laughs at them and thinks it's so cute, so it's a great way to bring people in because I don't think they're necessarily expecting a crochet fried egg. Next, by WoolPatterns.com, we have a cactus. The pattern is just for the green part of the cactus, but to make a pot, I basically just make a circle of about 30 stitches, build up some sides, and then stick a cactus in it. It's adorable. It works every time. Another favorite is the corn on the cob. In past seasons, I've made huge ones, which have always sold, so I definitely recommend those. In this recent summer season, I've been making mini ones, and those have sold even better. If you want the pattern for it, let me know. I am just working on finalizing it all together, but it's pretty simple and straightforward. Again, my pattern, we have my ice cream cone. This is a bestseller for sure. I make them in all different flavors with all different colors. So any iteration of like chocolate, strawberry, vanilla, cotton candy, bubble gum, anything like that. You can basically take any color and somehow turn it into an ice cream flavor. Food and sea creatures are like the two big ones for me personally. If you do markets as well, please let me know what your big category is, like food, animals, like what sells, because maybe I'm the odd one out here. And then for a bit of a bigger one that I've made a couple times, we have Elon Tusk by Olive Ami. This one is huge. It's about like this big, but it's so cute and so cuddly, and I've seen so many people that love it. And then another one by Amy at Curious Papaya, we have the giant panda. This guy, cutest thing ever. It shockingly did not take as long as I was expecting, and for what it looks like. I think it was so absolutely worth it. I haven't brought this to a market. I've been keeping it for myself because I don't want anyone else to have him, but I think I need to take him to my next one because he takes up too much room. And finally, I figured I would give you a little teaser, a little sneak peek of my next tutorial that's coming. I'm sure you've seen them on here before. I've made the little carrots. They look a little janky with the tags on them, but at the end of the day, you get the idea. We have these two little guys. I'm still working on figuring out my favorite way to do the bunches at the top. So there's still some phases of testing to be done, but I love them with the little arms. And that seems to be what people are really gravitating towards at markets too, is the little arms. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. That was my 50 plus market bestsellers. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you're going to make any. And thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.